today's Madden 21 tip, I'm going to be breaking down what I believe to be the best ability in the game. I'm going to be showcasing why it is the best ability in the game and really explaining kind of a way that the meta has shifted significantly and just something that you can take advantage of both in regular head-to-head -head teams um, and also in mud. And I've been talking about this since early, um, I think late Ju July was when I made this switch. And so I just wanted to kind of cover this for those of you guys. We've gotten a lot of new players on the channel, so I just want to encourage you uh, and, and kind of supply you with this information. Now, if you've never been to my channel before, my name's Cody. It's great to meet you, and I want to thank you for watching today's video. And I hope it can help you a little bit. And what I do on Madden is basically I try to learn as much as I can about the game so that I can teach the game to other people. And so if you want to learn Madden 21, if you want to get better, if you want to take your game to the next level, I want to encourage you to go ahead and click that subscribe button because we post four videos a day that are designed to do you or to do that and help you do uh, exactly that and become a better player. We also uh, stream every single night at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. So I also want to invite you to come hang out with us live where we play Madden head to head live against subscribers and also against um, just regular uh, online head to head. So what I wanted to do is kind of show you why the gunslinger is the best ability in the, the game and i wanted to do that by just using aaron Rodgers, who has the stack of gunslinger and patch league elite which is actually what i recommend doing in mud i recommend stacking the two it does help uh significantly and so that's why i use brett Favre in mud but i wanted to do that through the lens of the compression set corner routes that we love to run and we're just going to run it against random plays and i just wanted to show you um this from the near close right we all remember the near close from last year i still think it's very effective we're going to show you why um in today's video and we're going to really talk about a couple of things you can do with his uh, ability so basically what i want to show you is when you have the gunslinger ability you are going to be able to put the ball in places that you wouldn't normally be able to put them in, um, especially when you have the stack. The ball is going to come out faster from the quarterback's animation, and it's also going to come out um, at an increased velocity. And so what that means is you're going to be able to throw these low ball hitches in a place where only your receiver can get the ball. That's why it is so critical to be using this ability, in my opinion, because Another thing that I don't think people are realizing is when when you throw lob passes and you have Gunslinger and Pass the Elite, it actually puts the ball in a very, very unique position. You'll see here uh, when he's even, he's leaving. So I'm going to lob pass it over the top. And again, there was a little bit of the fact that he had a speed advantage. But we'll show you in man-to-man -man coverage how this works. Um, that was specifically zone. I did want to show man-to-man -man coverage really, really short or really, really quickly here. Um, but what you'll see is when you lob past these streaks, um, you're going to be able to put the ball in places where only your receiver can get it. Now, right there, the safety was coming over. So we'll show you this again with um, with no safety over the top. Uh, but what you'll see with this um, is you're going to get significant significant animations and significant um, ball placement when you use this ability in my opinion um, motion snapping streaks is really truly a very very good way to take advantage of them this year um, but you'll see right here like you can you can literally see how the pass lead on the ball will open up receivers and I want to show you that from this like if I motion to Montana's left side on a streak let me show you what happens if they're press manning him so he's pressing up right so right there and i can actually lob it over as long as i don't get instant shed like i did against practice one right there but you'll see this is a huge deal to me this is why and i've been talking about this a lot i think a lot of people are starting to catch on to why this is such a critical ability to have um in your arsenal uh in this game so uh real quickly what i want to do is i want to show you zone here just like this and all we're going to do is we're going to cross man so uh, effectively Devonte adams is going to have a speed advantage against the safety so he's going to motion over to the left and what you'll see is we're just going to set up um, a man coverage on him whoops just like this so we have coverage right there now when he when he goes on his route he's going to beat the receivers you see here he's going to beat the press so we're just going to lob it up over the top click on and it's going to put the ball, and that wasn't a great example, it's going to put the ball in a very, very unique position. 
um, for your for your receivers, okay? And what that's going to do is monumental. It's going to do that for all sorts of different trajectories and routes that you're going to run. Like, for example, right here, we're on this little angled post corner route. Well, MVS has 93 speed. So once he gets over the top right there, as you see, see how the ball gets – it gets over the top of the defense better, in my opinion, than it would if you were just running it with, like, a regular, you know, Dan Marino or something like that. So, like, right here, this is cover two man. And let me show you – and it is a little bit different because Devontae Adams doesn't have, like, game-breaking speed. But if he run him on a fade and he gets off this jam right here, like just like that right there. So I'm just going to pass that up and to the left. And you see how it drops it right over him? What you'll find is when people try to click onto the receiver to stop that, they're not going to be able to do that. That's what makes this ability so powerful. And corner routes are just one example of that. This is exemplified in every single route that you run. And here's the kicker. Um, it only costs, if you just use Gunslinger, if you don't use Pass Lead Elite, it literally costs you like one AP. It only costs you one AP to be able to put this on a player. To me, that's really, really effective and really, really good. Um, a lot of people are saying it's overpowered. I wouldn't say it's necessarily overpowered because I feel like man-to-man -man coverage is kind of overpowered at this point. Um, with just how effective, there's just such, such, such few routes that really, truly do beat man-to-man. -man. Um, especially in Mutt, in my opinion. In Mutt, had, if you have a good team, it's hard to get open. But I just wanted to share this with you. For those of you that didn't know about it yet, if you are on Madden 21, if you're playing Mutt, or if you're playing head-to-head, -head, there is a significant difference in quarterbacks when you use a quarterback that has Gunslinger, and even more so when you use a quarterback that has Gunslinger and Pass Lead Elite. In my opinion... That's what makes Aaron Rodgers the best quarterback in head-to-head, -head, and that's what makes the, him the best quarterback, or that's what makes Brett Favre, to me, the best quarterback in Mutt. To me, Brett Favre is really the 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 Mutt version of what Aaron Rodgers is in regs. They just didn't give Aaron Rodgers those ratings when they released him in Mutt. But anyways, guys, I just want to encourage you, if you haven't tried this ability out on your players, um, or if you haven't tried it out yet, these this really does change the game. Um, it, it allows you to throw open receivers, um, especially against zone coverage. Uh, against zone coverage, this is this is truly one of the most effective things that you can do to get your receivers open. You're going to find that it's very, very hard for an, an opponent to be able to consistently stop your zone beaters with this because you literally are going to be able to pass lead receivers open. I mean, it's literally that, that powerful – like right there, able to pass lead it very, very crisp, very, very good uh, to the outside. So, you know, guys, I would just say check out this ability. Um, I truly believe it's game changing. Uh, it's one of those game changing abilities like backfield master, I would say, is a game changing ability right now, especially in Mutt. In Mutt, I would guarantee you that if you see an effective uh, player on offense, especially if they're a passer, they're going to have hot route or um, they're going to have gunslinger. On offense and they're gonna have backfield master on their running backs those abilities are just so powerful for what they can do for you and so I just want to encourage you to test them out and one of the best ways you can test them out is just use the Packers and head-to-head -head. Um, you know not everybody cares about their head-to-head -head record and so if you don't care about your head-to-head -head record just go into a game and try it out it will you will you will be blown away with how much better your quarterback will play when he has gunslinger on for multiple reasons but one of the biggest ones is he gets the ball out faster and it actually travels faster which is really really good especially against a game where you're going to see a lot of acrobats at cornerback and uh, a game that's heavy on man-to-man -man coverage the windows are tight this year so having gunslinger and having even more so gunslinger and pass the elite really will help you but hey guys if you want to sign up for my uh texting membership if you like this video and you want to get more exclusive if you want to get more high level tips more really really in-depth um tips at this game i would encourage you to go ahead right now and just shoot me a text and let me know you want to sign up for the texting membership it's completely free all you have to do is just shoot me a text my number is 812 216 
1-800-273-3644. And yes, that is my personal cell phone number. Um, so it gives you direct access to me, which is really my whole entire goal. And every single week for my texting members, what I do is I compose um, an exclusive video, a video that's a little bit deeper, a little bit more um, layered, a little bit more in-depth than just these tips that I'm giving on YouTube. And so if you really want to take your game to the next level, that would be a great place to start. I also want to encourage you to join the Discord. And again, guys, if you didn't get my number, it's 812-216-3644. It is also in the description of this video. If you want to get signed up for that, I would love to connect with you that way. Be sure to jump in the Discord. And if you want to get my full scheme that I developed, really with the Packers as my main team that I would use it with, you can pick up my Air Raid Offense and my 46 uh, Defensive Guide those links are in the description. It's my Madden 21 Competitor's Guide. That is still on sale and still as relevant as ever. Um, has really, really good man beaters. Over 100 pages of material. Very, very in-depth. And we've had a ton of people that have just said, this, is, this guide has been worth every penny, and it has helped me tremendously. So I just want to encourage you, if you're looking to get better at Madden, this ability can help you. But there's a lot of other stuff at this channel that can help you. So I just want to encourage you guys, just get involved and keep working at it. Keep getting better. We'll see you on tonight's live stream. We stream every night at 10. So see you tonight.